My name is Alice Burrell. I'm here at Detroit Rescue Mission. I'm in transitional housing right now. I came because I had a, um, a drug problem. When I was 14, I found my Aunt Cindy dead of a heroin overdose on the kitchen floor. Um, I started drinking then. At 17, I had my son. When he was 14 months old, he passed away from cancer. I drank really heavily and did cocaine. I found out I was pregnant with my son, who I have now. He's six. We service anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 homeless men, women, and children. We provide treatment services, uh, shelter services, transitional housing, and permanent housing services. Our foundation is passing on that love of Jesus into the lives of these individuals. And that's, that's who the Detroit Rescue Mission Ministries is. I got picked up on a warrant, but I thank God that they did pick me up because I know that I was doing the wrong thing. And I was in jail for 75 days and they sentenced me here for 90 days, trying to better my life for my son and myself. They call it Genesis, you know, and that's a new beginning. It's a new beginning for me you know, for me to start my life over again. It's time for me to start doing the right things and, you know, going, going forward with my life. My name is Terry Grail. I'm the founder and CEO of Enchanted Makeovers, and we're here at Detroit Rescue Mission Genesis House to transform 21 bedrooms and turn one room into a sewing room. It's way more than just decorating. We're gonna bring in this light, this color, all these handmade items full of love, so it's a greater outcome for you because we believe in you. You could go to a store and, and buy a set of pillowcases and, and the person that received them would be very grateful. But if you made them and you embroidered their name on them and gave them, how much more love are you passing on than just spending money? You're, you're giving something of yours to them. First, before we even begin, I want to thank every single one of you it's gonna be a great journey today. We ought to just take up every second moment, enjoy it. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do, because without you, this wouldn't be. So let's get this party started. Woo! It's finally here. It's Saturday, January 19th, and after months of fundraising, and people locally, nationally, making handmade items. We are about to finally see that whole labor of love come to life. People will often say, why is this effective? If you were to look into behavioral and scientific studies, they will tell you that having a stable, nurturing environment leads to improved outcomes. It leads to overall improved mental, physical health, and just overall improved well-being. That is a proven fact. We want people to serve with their talent, from crocheters to quilters to mural artists. These women here are precious. I have been blessed to meet these women and to hear their reactions. And it's really made everybody happy. They're so warm and welcoming. It's just been a blast to work here. I've really enjoyed it so far. Everybody here, I, as far as what I would say, they're all sweethearts. And I think they really like us being here made me uh, view the shelters that are in this area a lot different. Oh, hoo -hoo, it's so pretty. When this whole makeover is done at Detroit Rescue Mission, my hope for the women and children, the staff, and the volunteers and donors is they walk away saying, there's no, you know, I'm here to help the needy. I'm here to help the poor guy, the homeless woman. We're here to help each other. When uh, the final reveal came, we were all down the chapel and we were all antsy to go back up in our room. We was talking in between, you know, amongst each other, you know, saying, well, I wonder what they're gonna do, what they're gonna do. You know, how is it gonna look? Okay, ladies, are you ready to feel your enchanted makeover? Yeah! At four o'clock, they said we can go see our rooms. When we climbed the stairs, got up to the rooms, that was it. Oh my God! Oh my goodness! This is so beautiful! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are 
I was just so happy. It was so beautiful. The comforters, the pictures, just everything was beautiful. Ooh, this is pretty! Thank you! It is beautiful! Oh my god! Oh! I think I was about to have a heart attack. It was so beautiful. The ladies feel the love. When I look at the sewing rooms, when I look at the rooms of where they are now sleeping, they have a different attitude. They feel the love that was brought with every stroke of pain. When I came in, it was old things. Now it's new things. We see that if we could transform a building, I know I could transform myself. It makes it better for me to want to change and stay changed. It makes me want to better my life. This place is getting better. I want to better my life. I want to go back to school. I want to do better for my son. This is home. I have the strength to make it, to be one of the volunteers when I graduate out of here to do something for someone like they've done for me.